Hello, welcome to another English lesson. Today we're going to go over the verb to do. In English, to do has a a few functions. The most common are um, when it's a verb on its own. I did my homework. Uh, the verb did is a verb on its own uh, because you're doing the action to the homework. I did my homework. It's also used emphatically, which means it it makes the um, it emphasizes more the verb that goes after it. I did write the essay. Did isn't a verb on its own, it's emphasizing the verb write. I did write the essay. So if someone's asking you, um, did you write the essay? You can say, I did write the essay. It can also be used to form a question. Do you eat tofu? It's always put on the beginning of a question. Another very common way to use do is to form a negative statement. Because most uh, most verbs can't be f mixed with not. Because you can't say, I eat not tofu. That sounds weird, doesn't it? At least to a native English speaker it sounds weird. I eat not tofu? No. You'd have to fix that and say, I do not eat tofu. Or I don't. I don't eat tofu. The don't is making makes the eat negative. You can replace this verb with anything. I don't like tofu. I don't care about tofu. And the last way to use it is in place of a repeated action. I ate breakfast, and he did too. Did is replacing ate breakfast. So it, repl it replaces the action uh, previously stated. So it can also be used in this way. What did you do. It's used in two different ways in the sentence. Uh, the do at the end is the normal verb, which is um, just to do something. Like, I... what did you do? I went to the store. Uh, the did here is the question forming one used with what. You can also um, change this to make it what did you eat, what did you make. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye.